Holden, you met this person on a dating app, and you guys talked for a while, and then you made a plan to go play video games at his father's home. Is that right? Yeah, so we had talked for approximately a month, and we, the main plan was to go to his father's house while his father was offshore and play video games. He proposed a sexual encounter with handcuffs. I didn't know if he really wanted to have sex or not, but he did propose the encounter with handcuffs. So I agreed, and from there, he put the handcuffs on me, and after that, he started to threaten me with a pistol. He, he goes to put the gun away, then he comes back, and he he pulls out a belt and starts to... He started to strangle me. And how long did this go on? Uh, he strangled me probably for about 30 to maybe even longer, um, basically to the point of every blood vessel in my face, like up from the belt around my neck, um, every blood vessel ruptured due to the severity of how he was strangling me. I'm so sorry to hear this happen to you. Now, you, you eventually lost consciousness, right? Yeah, I lost consciousness, and while I was unconscious, he stripped me naked. Um, it's unknown if I was raped or not while I was unconscious because there was never a rape kit given. Um, but while I was unconscious, he put me into a bathtub, and that's where he began to start the mutilation of my arms or my hands and other parts of my body. I was covered kind of head to toe in blood. So in total, he had put six holes into my throat with either a knife or an ice pick. He had multiple items in attempt to kill me. Um, he sliced the side of my throat open. You probably can't see it that well, but there it is right there. Um, he bashed the back of my skull open with a hammer, cracking my skull open in order to finish killing me. And he attempted to cut off both of my hands and was able to saw down to the bone on both of them. His main goal was to keep my hands as trophies, um, have other parts of me as memorabilia, and other parts of me to have as food. Okay, so he was going to eat parts of your body? Yes, that's what he confessed. You were in a coma for several days, and he, he severed the tendons and ligaments and uh, all of the veins and arteries in, in your hands, I mean, in your wrist and all. So you had to go through a lot yeah. of rehab for that. And I still don't have full capabilities in one of my hands slash wrist area. Well, that's just absolutely horrific. Now, let me ask you, this was someone that you met on a dating app, but yet you, you say that you're still on dating apps now, what's your rationale for being back on dating apps? Yes, I was hurt by someone from a dating app, but not everyone on dating apps is a serial killer. So maybe one day I could find someone, if that's possible, hopefully one day. Have you been on some dates? I have. Um, How are they handful. going? Um, I mean, I'm still single, so I guess that kind of shows how that's ended. Some people will recognize me from the news, or they will look at the scars on my wrist and on my body and just think that I did it to myself, and then they will get uncomfortable and just basically not talk to me because of the incident, yeah. because it makes them uncomfortable. And sure. that's just kind of one of the ways that it's affected me. Okay. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.